Oh, the fish stories that Mr. Gurr can tell. I was just inside talking to the owner and proprietor of Fishtails, the bait shop. It's been here forever, and I've driven past it so many times on the way to work, and I just had a nice talk with the gentleman that runs it. This is his private property, and now I think technically I'm on government property, so the rules are different here than they are over here. It's just kind of one of the things, like if you want to be doing stuff with social media, you got to know the rules. So the, the rules on private property and the rules on government public property are very different. But I asked him, I said, were you open Thanksgiving? Of course he was open Thanksgiving. In 15 years, this place has never closed. It's open every day. I asked the guy inside, you know, and I, I would love to give his name, but I don't want to do that. Just, you know, he has a Facebook page. He's proud of his business. He has not been sick in 15 years. He has not taken a vacation in 15 years. I mean, he just loves this place. He puts his love and his passion into it. And I got I tip my hat to people that do that. So amazing. I'm thankful for knowing him. And he says he's retiring in three years, moving up north. Man, he's earned his retirement. There is no doubt he has earned that. Now, he has no problem with me filming on his property. We've talked about this many, many, many times. And... As I'm getting closer and closer to retirement, my son wants to be a fisherman. He does not want to be a hunter as of yet. I showed him uh, a video and some pictures of deer hunting, and he's got a very sensitive and kind heart and just doesn't have it in him yet to take the life of another sentient being like a deer. So will he ever do that? Well... I don't know, but <sighs> fishing and hunting, part of what makes that special is the storytelling. Mr. Gurr is a storyteller, that is for sure. And I have so many stories in my heart about the group of buildings that's just down the road over that house and over that tree. And I think this whole Project Scootergate thing that I'm working on is going to be a way for me to share those stories with the world. And this isn't a story of anger. This isn't a story of vengeance. This isn't a story of bitterness. It's a story of love. It's a story of kindness. Like every time I come to the fishtails, I come inside and say, hey, do you have a Kit Kat bar? Do you have a peanut butter cup? Because it's little things like this that can make the world a better place. Now the sad thing is, like, I don't think the federal government's upset that I'm here and standing at this post office making a little video. I have used this post office so, so much in the last 22 years. A lot of times on my lunch break, I would hoof it over here and come inside and mail some letters to try to make the world a better place. Because like I said, Mr. Gurr, he's a storyteller. Now, if I took a little walk down that street, about, I would say, 800 meters, and was standing on the property of the monastery and talking just like this, I don't think anything that I say would be any less true. But the truth of the matter is, is other people would be frightened if I was doing that there instead of doing it here on federal property. And to me, that just breaks my heart. And it makes me sad because... Mr. Gurr gets up every day with a lot of goals. And one of those goals is always try to make the world a better place. 
And one of the ways that you can do that is by eliminating the fear inside of people's hearts and filling it full of love.